This year's higher level maths paper one was sat this afternoon and I'm looking through it very briefly here. It is quite clear that most students would have found it very, very accessible. Um, the questions in section A, there were no real catches there whatsoever. Going through them very briefly, question one was a straightforward question on sequences and series. Question two was a, a very, very doable question on cubic equations. Question three combined a little bit of linear algebra with integration. Question four was on complex numbers, and whereas it may have appeared to be a little bit strange at first, it was actually very doable at the end. Question um, five was on algebra again, and a little bit of differentiation, and from that point of view, it was, it was no harder than that students would have expected from what they'd seen in school. And question six was the much anticipated uh, financial maths, and again, in a very, very doable version. So the first half of the paper, worth 150 marks out of 300, most students would have felt quite happy, certainly the students that we talked to, would have felt quite happy with how they got on in that particular section of the paper. However, the other section of the paper, section B, was the one that they dreaded more than, than, than section A. Uh, and yet, the 350 mark questions in here, making up the other 150 marks, again, there was nothing really challenging in here. There was nothing to scare the students. There was the usual mixture of algebra with differentiation and a little bit of integration. Um, there was In the last question, there was a mixture of trigonometric functions, um, algebra, and integration all in the one question, which, again, um, is fully in line with the spirit of Project Maths, uh, where ideas from different sections of the course can, can be combined in a single question, and students have to make up their own mind what approach is necessary in any given question. And, you know, in anticipation of Monday's exam, we can expect, I would imagine, the same trend to continue. Maybe not all questions as easy as they have been today, but certainly in the same vein, in the same lines.